What's something people don't really think about during a zombie apocalypse? The smell. Gasoline will go bad in a few years. I'm always shocked in zombie movies shows that people forget bicycles exist. It's a relatively fast and quiet way to get around that no one uses. Waste management. I see this in other doomsday scenarios as well. With no septic system or trash collection I see disease being more of a risk than a lot of other factors. Same with injury, sure there's first aid but without a power grid to refrigerate meds, something as simple as a cut or scrape can prove fatal. Edit I'm talking about general population. Not the people who are well versed in survival and have a limited working knowledge of how to live outside of society. Dental problems occur. We could stop all this zombie apocalypse nonsense if we'd simply tie the shoelaces together on folks before we bury them. Most people will die of the virus in their beds with fever, home or hospital, at least at the start. So expect most zombies to be in pajamas, hospital gowns with their asses hanging out, all but naked. People with chronic diseases dying from lack of meds after a few weeks or months. Diabetics, for example, that rely on insulin or metformin. I'm type 2, not sure how long I'd last without metformin and a variety of food choices that allow me to eat and keep my blood sugar in control. Months. A couple years. The zombie hordes would eventually rot away. Their bodies are decomposing so eventually their tendons and whatever would no longer be able to allow the undead to be mobile. Survivors just need to wait it out. The banks still want their quarterly fees. Brains just why are they so delicious? I mean, they weren't yesterday, but today I can't get enough. Cover your skin. A full face helmet and Kevlar jacket pants would pretty much make you zombie proof. That you'd be living to merely survive with no comforts. It would not be as enjoyable as some people fantasize about. Lack of nutrition, medication, hygiene products, medical care, new clothes, shoes, etc. etc. Wear contacts. Good luck finding saline solution or getting more. Or you take them out to sleep and get attacked meanwhile. It would really suck. The ideas that you come up with, the places you think about going to, are probably the same exact thoughts that countless other people have as well. Yeah, I'm just going to bunker down at the nearest Walmart and hold the place to myself no you won't, because country boy Terry already laid claim to the place and is gonna pick you off with his firearms if he sees you encroaching on his territory. Or likely there will already be a massive crowd of zombies waiting for you when you get there. Lots of people are gonna try and go to the woods and start building fires which will inevitably get out of hand causing wildfires. How every scenario in which they think they do alright starts with them being ready. I imagine a whole lot of very capable people would just be sleeping in, and wake up to the sound of breaking glass and die in a minute. Play a game like Zomboid and your first few days if not weeks is built around hardcore survival scavenging and discipline via trying to reserve and avoid wasting supplies. But after you've settled, and built something to last, and have your needs met what then? Like The Walking Dead, it becomes painfully less about the zombies by some point and more of the everything after survival. The eternal nothing. Mosquitoes and ticks could be a real big problem as animals are also affected by the zombie virus. Dental hygiene will go out the window. Move to a hot and humid climate FLA, gar, ul. The wild animals and especially the maggots will reduce all undead to skeletons in a matter of months. Also buzzards love the smell and taste of rotting flesh. Drinking water. All lakes and rivers are possible infected during apocalypse. How long can human live without drinking water? Everyone thinks that they are going to be surviving the zombie apocalypse. Having good shoes so you don't get blisters. The lack of sleep. Real, actually peaceful sleep. 
between zombies and the people taking advantage of the lack of order, real beneficial sleep will be almost impossible the first few years. Gasoline goes bad if it just sits with no additives. You'd only realistically be able to drive a car for the first year or so. After that your walking sucks or riding a horse can get killed. I'd like to see a zombie movie where people remember bicycles exist. Being overrun with rodents. With no predators, the rats and mice will breed uncontrolled in the grocery stores. The produce will all rot and attract insects. Food in boxes or plastic packaging will be chewed open. Within a few weeks, the food that will still be viable will all be canned. Then after a few generations of rodents, the cats, coyotes, and higher order predators will begin to breed like crazy, because they now have no controls and an ever-expanding food source. Your work will still ask if you're available to come in. Tom just got bit yesterday and we don't have anyone to cover his shift. Their mothers. She would really appreciate a phone call now and then even if you have nothing to talk about it's nice to hear your voice. She's sorry if she keeps you on the phone too long she knows how busy you are and doesn't want to be a bother. Zombie farts. Like they are filling up with noxious gases. Cramming meat down their throats which would begin decomp. An entire group of zombies will be alternating between whale explosion level farts and then chipotle diarrhea when the chunky bits work their way through. In other words the bathrooms at the fairgrounds when someone cut questionably fresh meat on a stick. The demand for woodchippers would skyrocket. If I bite them, will they turn human again? No one ever thinks to loot a scuba stall for shark-proof chain mail suits. Most of us will be zombies and if they are slow zombies, it is very likely most survivors will be killed by fighting other survivors for supplies resources. Evade the zombies day and night cholera will probably kill you. Everybody loots the food. You should also hit up the vitamin aisle. Everybody loots the pharmacy or the hospital. You could also hit up a veterinary clinic and find basically the same stuff. Maybe a library would be a good place to hide out for a while because it's going to be really boring when you're not running from the zombies. Nobody ever mentions how boring your downtime would be. If the zombie eat people, the tissue and muscle and organs, then they are leaving behind skeletons, or at best severely damaged and incomplete corpses. So there couldn't be many new zombies, just more skeletons. Wouldn't be that bad, really. Zombies eat so they will eventually defecate. Most portrayals depict mindless automatons that likely wouldn't know to disrobe when going number two, so they would eventually be walking around with poop stuffed pants underwear. Densely populated areas especially third world emerging second world are going to get it really bad. When my router isn't working right how am I getting tech support? For real though, as soon as water treatment plants power plants get overrun and food distribution is disrupted those not bitten will die from lack of water and food or be too weak to fight. You'll have some off-grid people surviving just to survive. Asthmatics, diabetics, and other groups that rely on media will be duches after a year or so. Plus, if you get an infection that requires antibiotics, you're slow done. Gallbladder problem. Done. Tonsillitis. Good luck. Kidney stone. Shoot yourself. Psychosis. Unless you're with family or a tight-knitted group who you've known forever, trust and betrayal is going to come into play. Not to mention every single person you meet could be out to get you just for your supplies. And even if you choose to survive alone, the mind won't build to take long-term solitude. Eventually it can lead to one becoming stir-crazy. Increased risk of infections other than the one where you become a zombie. I mean, you never see people in those movies get gangrene or tetanus despite being exceptionally dirty and likely not up to date on their shots. That most people will die from bad water and bad food. How you aren't going to bug out to your hypothetical bug out spot. The roads will be jammed, gas will be gone. 
You aren't going.